These two new features in Blender 4.1 and above pissed me off so much it took me seven times to record a video that's gonna be actually acceptable for YouTube. Now these two new features are really annoying and I'm gonna tell you all about them and also how to get around them. Let's go. Two annoying features in Blender 4.0 and above are gonna be auto smooth and modifier menu. Now if you don't know what either of these are it means you're new to Blender and you probably should be grabbing our free course which is called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender which will teach you all the basics of Blender, UI, rendering, modeling etc. The course is free and the link is in the video description. We have over 75,000 people who went through the course and absolutely love it and they're getting phenomenal results. So go ahead, grab the course and enjoy. Now going back to the topic, there are two new features. Well, they're not new really, but they were changed in a way that's just a little bit annoying. And I will show you what it is and how to actually fix it so how you can deal with it, right? So the first one regards auto smooth. Now before Blender 3.0, the way you actually edit auto smooth to your mesh was um, done in two steps, which is basically going to right click menu, shading smooth, and then adding auto smooth. And this was shading your mesh smooth and adding auto smooth to your mesh. And you could actually adjust the auto smooth here on the normals menu, okay? In Blender 3.0 and above, this has changed and now it was consolidated into one click. So now actually clicking on shade auto smooth does both things, which means shade your mesh smooth and adds auto smooth. Now that was a fantastic change because it actually shaved off one click, which made this operation a bit quicker and closer to an add-on workflow. Now in Blender 4.1 Alpha, uh, we have a bit of a problem. So now in order to add auto smooth and shade smooth in Blender 4.0 and above, you need to right click and click this one shade smooth by angle which will basically display a small menu here when you click that you can change the angle but this menu here on the normals is gone so you need to actually revoke this menu every time you want to change this value that's annoyance number one but the real problem is when you go to edit mode and you see this shit so now the shading is gone completely crazy right and we also have sharp edges added to every single edge above 30 degrees, right? For whatever reason. So this is a problem because, you know, when you, for example, run bevel on this one, you will see these kind of nasty highlights uh, on your mesh uh, around the bevel. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to edge mode, right? You wanna select everything and you wanna clean these edges, right? And then in order to fix the shading in, in edit mode, you need to add bevel. So you need to go to this menu here, which is, by the way, the second thing I want to talk to you about in a minute. So let's go to Bevel and then let's go to Edit and go to Wait Normal. And now your shading is fixed, right? So this is a problem when you are new to Blender or, you know, you're working with Vanilla Blender and you're going to have to go through all these steps manually every single goddamn time. So, you know, I don't know why they did that, but uh, this is terrible. So now in order to go around it, right, the best way to do it would be to use hard ops. Because when you're using hard ops, right, you're going to be adding auto smooth and shading your mesh smooth by adding any modifier, like for example, bevel. So if I'm gonna go here, click on the bevel, you can see my auto smooth was edit and my mesh was shaded smooth. And it's done, you know, automatically by simply adding bevels through hard ups. So if you have hard ups and you should, then, you know, you're good to go. You're not gonna be really bothered, but when you're using vanilla, you're gonna be fucked. Now, if you wanna get hard ups and box cutter, I'm gonna leave links to both add-ons in a video description that are fantastic so you know you should be using them so now second annoying thing in blender 4.0 and above is this goddamn menu here okay the modifier menu this is really diabolical so now in order to find your modifiers you need to go through this um, horrendous menu here and find whatever the hell you're looking for it's really annoying you see in comparison blender 3.6 uh, didn't have this problem you click here and you have these really nice uh, organized you know columns with modifiers that are categorized here into four sections that was logical right i don't know why they did that but it's absolutely horrible people hate it and i tell you why they hate it because there was already add-on created around this and it's actually quite popular so if you want to grab it 
go to Gumroad and you know you can see the add-on here which reverts you know this stupid menu back to the normal so you know that's uh, what I would recommend doing right and another solution is gonna be again using hardups and box cutter because hardups and box cutter uh, have their own menu so when I'm gonna go here to 3.6 and I want to go to modifiers right you can see that my modifiers are organized very neatly in this uh, logical group I don't see any rubbish modifiers I'm not gonna be using like ocean what the fuck uses this uh, so you know I have all of them organized here and most important modifiers are here on the top so bevel solidify array mirror you know etc right now my message to the blender devs guys if you're gonna be developing some features make sure that you know they actually are going to make blender uh, working in blender a bit more streamlined so you know don't reinvent the wheel you know this was working perfectly fine no one was complaining i don't know what the fuck is going with this shit so that's one and two you know i would focus on developing something useful like you know for example the addition of light link in here uh, which we have on the sheeting this was fantastic and if you don't know what it does go ahead and watch my video on that this is really good addition to blender long time overdue if you ask me but you know it's here now so that's great but what you could have done instead uh, is for example adding you know an option to mirror lights across an object so we would be able to create a symmetrical light uh, setup and given that we now have access to light linking we could create some really interesting lighting with mirror lights uh, or for example you could do is uh, fix the bevel issue right because what, i can't use this fucking menu because when you go to uh, bevel right and you let me just grab a new cube so when I'm going to grab a bevel here with um, vanilla blender, you will see a problem, right? First of all, we have one segment, uh, so we need to, you know, add three. Of course, we're going to have to shade smooth and add auto smooth because without it, it will not work. Uh, but then again, uh, you know, um, the bevel is way too big, so that's not a thing. When you add bevel in blender with hard ups, the bevel is smaller. No one is using bevels of this size, uh, procedural bevels, right? so you know that's that and also uh we have a problem with miters so let me show you if we go to geometry and uh, this miter outer is set to sharp whereas it should be set to arc and i'll tell you why so when i'm going to create another cube here right and move it somewhere here and i'm going to boolean this you will see what's going on let me just add quickly uh wait the normal here so i'm going to do it with hard ups because it's quicker so when you go here to this bevel you can see it's nicely rounded but uh, that's because my miter is set to arc but look what happens when i'm going to set it to sharp which is by by the way default blender uh, miter i don't even know who the hell uses this shit patch or sharp but you know like i'm saying this is what we use all the time for hard surface and this is how for example uh you know um hard ups uh, bevel is set up so when you add a bevel with hard ups first of all the bevel size is smaller you can see there are three segments and the miter is set to arc so you know these would be a really recommended changes you know something that's going to improve um, users um, experience and it's going to speed up work in blender not really coming up with some crazy fucking ideas like this because that doesn't really help anyone anyway guys that's it for the rant thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one